Hey, so how's it going? Mr. Gagnon here. This is the, um, we're still on energy now, but we're going to be looking at a, a, a term called work. And no, this isn't like going to work, but this is actually another physical quantity we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to, this will be a quick video, I think maybe under five minutes, uh, because work is easily defined. Okay, so work is equivalent to force. multiplied by distance and sometimes we put a little uh, thing here uh, this distance is like parallel uh, perpendicular uh, we're not going to worry so much about this <clears throat> we're just going to look at it as force times distance so so let's see what work actually is uh, work is f times d so let's give you an example of this. Okay, let's say I push on this block and I, and I apply a hundred Newton force to the block. And let's say the block goes 20 meters. Well, our definition of work says that work is the force times the distance. So it would be a hundred newtons times 20 meters. Okay. Or two thousand and and this unit actually is going to be an energy unit, two thousand joules. So the work I've done to this object, moving it 20 meters, if my net force is 100, it's 100 force times the distance uh, of 20 meters. We've got 2,000 joules. So that's how simple work is. It's a three-step process, uh, and work is um, an energy unit. Now, let's look quickly. Um, you remember... When we looked at uh, gravitational potential is uh, mass times gravity times height. Well, mass times gravity is the force of gravity. Height is a distance, right? Height's a distance. Mass times gravity is a force. Um, we can actually relate gravitational potential energy to work. Work is force times distance. Gravitational potential energy is mass times gravity, which is force, times a height, which is a distance. And I just wanted to connect the dots for you. Now, in the questions, okay, what you're gonna be given are two of these things. Now, if I give you force and distance, awesome. Okay, you can find work. If I give you work and force, you can find distance. If I give you work and distance, you can find force. So, um, yes, I'm going to give you three different possibilities there, but I'm very confident you guys can handle that type of uh, algebra problem. The tricky question would be is, like, how much um, work is done? Let's say if a person pushes on something and doesn't move at any distance. I'm going to say it again. How much work is done if a person pushes on something and it doesn't go a distance? Let's check. Work is force times distance. Work, let's say he pushes on it with 100 newtons and he gets it to go zero meters. Work is zero joules. Okay, so there's no work done if the guy or girl is pushing on something and it doesn't move. Okay, that's kind of an important thing to know about work. All right. Um, I'm going to come back to work when we talk about power a little bit because uh, work and power are related too. Um, and we'll, we'll make the correspondence, uh, the relationship later with uh, work and power. So that's a nice short five-minute video. Hopefully you can uh, look at the section on there and do well in the questions.